Hey guys, my name is Mr. Wicked Truck, and I'm going to do a quick review for Capture the Flag of every kit that there is that you can play at the moment. I don't want to do one at a time. I used to try and do that, but I don't think many people like that, so I went into like adventure maps and stuff. But I still play this sometimes, and I want to be able to review each kit. So I know I've done the ninja kit before, but here's just a brief overview. You get a golden sword with unbreaking something and sharpness 5, I think. You get 10 ender pearls, 10 flash bombs, which are eggs that you throw at people that will give them blindness and nausea for, I think, about 10 seconds. And that also makes it so that they cannot sprint. The redstone, which you have 64, will make you invisible to the other team, but not your team. And it will slowly deplete, depending on what you're doing, if you sprint. It'll go down six at a time. If you walk, it's going down two at a time. If you crouch, it's one at a time. If you jump, I don't think anything happens. Your compass, in case you didn't know, this is for all kits because it just comes with it, points at either team's flag. So as you can see, this is very powerful. Kills an archer in three hits, unless they heal with their stick. Kill me, son. I need to go to my next thing. Never mind. Yeah, and this is what happens. They're like little explosions that don't hurt you. On to the next kit. The Mage Kit gives you five hoes, a purple leather chest plate, pants, and boots, and each hoe has a different ability. The first one is a regular damage spell that shoots an arrow a certain distance into which it explodes into an awesome firework as to which the color is going to depend on what team. The blue team will be blue and purple, the red team will be red and purple. The wooden hoe is a flame spell. When you shoot it, the person will catch on fire unless they're a medic who are immune to fire. The lightning spell will basically knock back anybody else far away from you and do damage, as you can see that I'm going to do in a second here to this base. Eh. The ice spell encloaks someone in ice, and the healing spell gives you regeneration for. So, here we go. I'm going to try and kill this medic as this kit. Oh, okay, never mind. Next kit is going to be the heavy. It's the main kit you get when you log on. You get a diamond armor and a diamond sword with five, with three stakes and that's it. It's very basic but it's good for like practicing your PvP and stuff. Uh, and if you have any other kits I recommend using them. Next kit, soldier kit gives you gives you iron armor, iron sword and four stakes and if you right click the ground with your sword you will be able to jump and you know it's I think it's like two and a half blocks. Yeah that's that's right. You also don't take damage when you're carrying the flag which other kits do and that is also very good. Another thing is that when the, you're at the edge of the map like this and you have the flag and you're trying to run away from someone, instead of just keep running and eventually dying, you can just do this and just float here. They'll think you're flying and hacking, but you're not. You're breaking the system. So now we're going to go to the next kit. The next kit is the medic kit. It gives you gold armor and water breathing. It also gives you a healing sword with unbreaking axe. Basically what this does, if you hit someone else with your sword, it'll completely heal them and restore all their stakes or any items that they have that will give that their kit gives them. You also get three cobwebs that will disappear after a certain amount of time that are good for getting you, your enemies, and your teammates stuck inside a web of awesomeness. And I didn't know this would happen, but there's also, I think that's the health percentage of people on your team. I'm not sure if that's for enemies. Also, if you take damage, your hearts will slowly heal over time, I think at a regeneration one or two pace or something. And uh, that is basically the medic kit. Great for when you're with a team. Oh, and you don't take fire damage. I gotta show you that. See? Look. It just goes away. You do take lava damage, though. So now we're gonna go to the next kit. The engineer kit is going to be basically like a very overpowered kit in my opinion and a lot of other people. You get this pickaxe, oh shoot, Duh. a wooden sword and a teleporter which is like a little ender portal thing and a, dis a turret, this is the dispenser, and a cake with 64 arrows So and six of these sticks so you get a lot of stuff. Basically what the teleporter does, you can place it somewhere that is too close to the flag home apparently, put one there. And you can put one, oh shoot, sniper. Sniper! You put one here, and you can just step on it, and you go to the other one. It's like teleporting from place to place. You also have this turret, which is also too close to the flag home. Just put it right there. You can fill it up with these magical arrows, right? If you're holding your sword, you can aim it at people like annoying archers, or you can just let it have its merry way and shoot people automatically. And this cake will heal people and also give back their items like a medic does. That is an overview of the engineer kit. Overpowered, I recommend getting it. The Archer Kit gives you full chainmail armor, a bow, a stone sword, and four stakes with two stacks of arrows. So it's hard to run out, even though sometimes you can. 
what you can do is shoot the heck out of people and if you shoot from a certain distance it will be considered a headshot even no matter where you hit him you can hit him like in the toe and it's a headshot uh, don't question the system but yeah so it's a really good kit for a free one as it is free but unless you're a sniper I don't recommend using it unless you want to like go close range just go like that and the arrows do not stick in the ground so that is the archer kit Medic kit ha gives you a whole bunch of potions, and this is always booked by Bad Boy Halo. You get splash potion of harm, you get 20 of them, but I use three. You get 10 potion poisons, three slowness ones, five fire resist or three fire resistance, 10 instant health instead of stakes, regeneration three. You get five of those, and three splash potions of strength and speed. Strength and speed. So this is how you can use them instead of just splashing people with these things. Oh, fire resistance. No fire, fire, fire. There we go. So instead of splashing people with your instant damage and poison and everything, I mean the poison's good, you can just use the strength potion, the regeneration, and the fire resistance, and you'll be immune to fire. You'll get speed and strength, and it's all great. So then what I recommend doing is throwing this poison potion at enemies like this, and the game ended. But anyways, you can throw it at them and just whack the crap out of them. And I still have some other kits, so I'll just have to do it on another map. That is the chemist kit. You also get this armor. Beautiful. Amazing. I know. And, um, that will be this kit. There's only a few more left, so we're almost done. Bear with me. So, I'll be back on the next map playing on the... That's right, I just interrupted myself. So now I'm going to show you guys the dwarf kit. When you crouch, your experience bar will slowly go up. Each level, you'll get a sharpness on your sword. As you can see, I'm level 1. I have sharpness 1. You have slowness 2, diamond chest plate and pants with a chain helmet and boots. And the longer you crouch, the more experience you will get, and the slower it will go up. Every three levels, you get knockback. Every level, you get sharpness. Every five levels, you get fire aspect. And I think that's all you can get on your sword, and maybe potion effects. Oh, yeah. Level five, you're also immune to fire, so pyros can kiss your butt. Except assassins are, like, the worst. Assassins and ninjas. Just gotta take care of them before they can do it to you. And, uh, that's pretty much it. You also get your diamond sword. Oh, right now I'm level 3, so I have knockback 1, sharpness 3. That is going to be the dwarf kit. On to the next one. Pyro is one of the most popular kits. You get a bow, a flint and steel, an axe, and five stakes with full leather armor. Now, even though the armor is low, you're, if you pull your bow back all the way, it'll make an explosion and any enemy will be caught on fire. The flint and steel is just in case you run out of arrows because you hardly get any. 19 is not a lot. Alright, so here we go. Oh, balls. I missed. Die. Oh, come on. I almost got it. Alright, so if we hit, hit him... Alright, never mind. But I need to show you that I can kill people in one hit. That's why it's called the insta-kill X. Oh, hey buddy. <clears throat> Life's unfair. Oh, wait, you're on my team. Ooh. Come on. For the love of... How does this not hit him? Oh, there we go. See, as you can see, he caught on fire, but it did not actually kill him, which is kind of sad. All right, here we go. Just come on, catch on fire, and kill him one hit. Like that. Okay, next kit. The Necro kit gives you a spawner, a mob healing sword, and a pickaxe. The mob healing sword, or anything you hit the mob with, I think even the pickaxe, it will heal the mob that spawns from your spawner, and I think that's pretty awesome. Over time, you can place your spawner. At first, zombies will spawn, and the more kills they get, the more experience bar is going to go up. When you get to level 1, you'll get skeletons without their bows, and they're really good and really fast. Sometimes your zombies will spawn, or skeletons. Oh yeah, in level 2, you get blazes. But skeletons are the best, in my opinion. Sometimes your zombies, skeletons, or blazes will come with a potion effect like regeneration, strength, or speed. The speed is really good because it's like speed 4, and it really confuses people. And that's how you get the most kills. So that would be the necro kit. You also get this armor. Look at it. Enjoy it. And now we're going to go to the next kit after I jump off a cliff. Alright guys, this is the last kit that I'm going to be showing because it's the, only, it's the last kit that this actually has. So that's an assassin right there. You get your boots and if you right click your sugar, you get a speed boost of like speed 2 or something like a ninja. Something like that. Yeah, speed, no, speed 3. Okay. And if you right click your redstone, you can just kill anybody in one hit for a certain amount of time but they can also kill you in one hit for that same amount of time and as you can see the experience bar is slowly regenerating once it gets full 
it will go back to regenerating from the beginning again and it will give you a redstone or assassinate as it's called and speed boost and it's also very great for killing the guy with the with your flag so I will give you an example of that right never mind I think hold on if I knew I had the flag can I just do like slash hub no well who cares you can kill the person with the flag and it's great thanks guys for watching that has been my capture the flag kit reviews for every kit um, if you liked it subscribe and leave a rating and all that good my YouTubing stuff uh, I will see you guys later and good bye wait get the Sortex Manver texture pack at the Sortex Manver page bye bye